it back! Give it back, Steve! Oh, yeah. <laughs> What is going on guys, Andy Gabs back for another video and today we are doing something pretty cool. Uh, it's actually kind of a surprise for Kelsey. She doesn't really know, uh, she knows we're going on like an adventure. She knows it's pretty far away, It's the drive is like two hours. But it's gonna be super cool, involves some pretty cool animals and uh, getting to actually like hang out and interact with animals which I think is awesome as you guys know. Um, so yeah, we're about to get into that but do me a favor. Go ahead, throw this video a like, comment down below what's the most exotic animal you've ever gotten to hang out with, even if it's just a dog, right? Dogs are great too. And uh, subscribe and turn the notification bell on if you're new here. Uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, y'all, so we made it to the place here. Uh, like I said, we're outside of Baton Rouge, Louisiana in, I don't remember the name of the town. Slaughter Town. No, not Slaughter Town. Slaughter Town is the next town over, uh, which I thought was kind of weird. Not Slaughter Town, it's just Slaughter, Louisiana. Um, but this is called Barn Hill Sanctuary. Uh, I can't talk about what we're doing yet because Kelsey still doesn't know, uh, and she's right over there. But they have all kinds of stuff here. So these are some different birds. I want to say they're emus. There's a camel down there. Some cows over there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're waiting on one more person to show up for the tour, not with our group, just like a random group, uh, and then we will get started. This bird totally just tried to eat my finger off. I don't want to show you guys again, but yeah, see, he wants to bite me. Why are you trying to bite me, dude? That's not very nice. I ain't got food. He thinks I have food. Nope. Ow. It hurts. He doesn't have teeth, but it still doesn't feel good. So right now we're in with a couple different kinds of birds. I don't remember what they're called. Uh, they're over there. I'll try to get you a better view if I can. Uh, there's so many bugs here and it is hot. You boys sweating. Um, but as we move along the tour, we do more like the closer up animal encounters. I'll bring you guys back. She's very curious about that mm -hmm. camera. They, every animal wants the microphone. Mm. So I'm not sure if you guys can see in the tree right there, there's actually three scarlet macaws. I think they're scarlet. Looks like maybe one, two scarlets and a blue and gold. Um, but they're all free flight macaws. I think that is pretty damn cool that they just fly all around. They have this whole entire property. They're all free flight. But I kept hearing them and I couldn't see them. And I was like, what is that? And uh, yeah, three free flight macaws. So now we are moving on to the otter exhibit. Um, you can actually swim with otters here. So maybe one day uh, we'll come back and do that. It's a little bit more expensive than the tour that we're doing now. But uh, I still think it would be really cool to come and actually get in the water with the otters. Sorry. I don't know why they're so curious, but everything is a toy to them. Why do they like water? That's just how they catch their prey. So they kind of had to get used to it. And... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're following us. They want to come with us. Uh, but I was going to say, it would be super cool. I think we're going to have to come back and swim with them for sure. For the record, you don't swim with them in that water, I asked. Because I was, was a little bit grossed out. Uh, but they have like a separate pool that they bring the people in. Uh, but now there's an African serval. Uh, you guys saw us hang out with one of these guys. Uh, he's way over there in that corner. I don't know if you can see him, uh, but you saw us go with one of those guys at SeaWorld. And after this, I think we are moving on to tortoises. How fast can they run? They can run um, 45 miles an hour because they're the second fastest cat next to the cheetah. Okay, before we move on to the tortoises, we are going to feed some bear cats. Well, maybe not we, but the tort guide is going to feed bear cats who we're going to watch. They're, they're marsupials, so they're not literally a bear or a cat. I don't know why they call them that. I, they kind of like have a bear face. <laughs> they look like a wolf. Also, so cloudy. Hmm. Hey, Kelsey. Hey, Kelsey. Hey, Okay, so the sheep and goats, we were looking at the tortoises. I didn't really go in there. You guys have seen a million tortoises. The sheep and the goats must have like hurt us or something. Yeah, yeah there you go. They, uh, all of them like ran over at once. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any food for them, but look at how cute they are. Here I am saying like you guys have seen the tortoises. And I'm showing you like goats and sheep. Hey, buddy. Hi. Oh, yeah. That guy sounds grouchy, huh? 
like that one right there with the horns. He's cute. What's up, buddy? Oh, that one's mean. Why are you grouchy, bro? Why are you grouchy? I ain't got no food. Their eyes are so ah. Hi, buddy. Hello. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys saw that. A bug just flew in my stinking nose. You don't even feed Scarlett. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta go pet the cow. Oh, okay, sorry, baby. That was gross. Yeah, they have a lot of slobber. <laughs> it's okay. But here, it's still food. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, is it raining? Oh, a little bit. Yeah, I didn't. Okay. Uh, rain's starting, so I gotta put the camera away um, for a minute at least until it stops raining. But I think we're just gonna have fun. Nope, nope, nope. Hang out, feed a bunch of goats, baby cows that are all trying to get to Scarlet right now. That got risky. That one little short goat, uh, I think I got him on video, was was definitely trying to eat Scarlet. He was like running up and going, pff, pff, and spitting on her. Um, but uh, next up is macaws. So like I said, they're all free flight. They can fly again wherever they want. They said they, she said they have up to like a two mile range that they can go. But uh, we're gonna take a look at some of the ones that are just hanging out in their little pen area. They just kind of fly around and look pretty, and you're just like, oh, from a distance, but please don't come with me. So are they like rescues that have come to you guys? Mostly. People don't realize what um, <laughs> Is that a what commitment. we were bringing that bird here for earlier? Um, I think so. Okay. Yeah. It looked like they were dropping them off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People like, don't realize that it's such a big commitment because they live till like 80. Don't outlive people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like having a three-year-old. Okay, those macaws were not friendly, so we are not going to try and touch the macaws. Uh, they looked like they wanted to try to take my finger off. So now we're going to go check out some different parrots. Uh, looks like emus maybe. And I think there's a little joey kangaroo over here too. Still definitely going to hang out with uh, sloths. We're going to be able to touch and interact with sloths. Baby kangaroos and baby anteaters. So that's what the surprise for Kelsey was. We'll be able to get hands on with all of those guys. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. There's like a, a viral clip of Brian Barczyk that goes around. Um, he's showing them, like showing an emu and it's like right here looking at the camera and it grabs his, uh, that thing right there, the dead cat on top of the microphone and just runs around with it. And the video is him like trying to go in and get it. It's okay, it's okay. Steve, Steve, give it back! Ah! <laughs> um, yeah, we're about to go in with emus, kangaroo, no running, got it. Emus, kangaroo, I think that's it. Yeah, we can say hi to this guy. What's up, buddy? What's up, bud? These are just like the guys that we saw, or I don't, I think I included it in one clip, the guys in Sasebo, Japan. Um, we gotta hang out with a bunch of them, it was super cool. Yeah, this guy's just chilling out. Is he gonna have a baby? Is he gonna have a baby? Look at him. He's just chilling. He's living it up. I'm still waiting for one of these emus to like sneak up um, on me from behind. It is so hot. Do you guys see all the sweat? It's probably like 100 degrees out right now with the humidity. But yeah, this guy's super cute. I'm gonna go try to uh, pet the emu and see how that goes. Hey, bud. I don't know if you guys can hear that noise that he's making, but they like make that noise in their chest. I think it's like a threat display. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave him alone because he's kind of scary. But there's another kangaroo over here and I'm gonna go say hi to him. Oh, does this one have a joey too? Oh, I think this one does have a joey too in its pouch. Hey. What's up, sweetie? What's up, sweetie pie? Hi. It's okay. It's okay. See, that emu's creeping up. I turned my head and he turned his head away. I'm used to this because of Scarlet. <laughs> whenever they're small like that, we have a pouch and we just do that. Yeah. And but whenever they get bigger, you You're jealous? Scarlet's yeah. getting yeah. jealous. Yeah, just kind of like teenagers. Here, like, you want to do it? I'm too cool for you now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't really. So how long do they drink milk for? Like forever or? That as a treat forever. Like, oh, just, really? That's what this is just for. Oh, okay. Come see the jelly stick came his head out. He's sticking your bones. Mm -mm. 
Oh my god. <laughs> so That's cute. funny. The Just... big kangaroo like looks like this all the time. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay, so we're coming up on a lynx right now. This is the next animal. It's like right here. So cool. Um, so you'd find them probably around Russia. Um, and the reason why their paws are so big is so they don't sink in the snow. And so most of their prey they find like under the snow, so they can't swim like big in. But There's another one way over there. So pretty. Yeah, they're really cool animals. They're Okay, so rain is coming. Um, yeah, rain is coming, and it's about to get kind of heavy, so I gotta put my camera away. But uh, ah, I gotta put the camera away. Well, hopefully the rain stops shortly, and then uh, we'll get back with the tour. We're about to go in there though, and uh, hang out with some baby animals. All right, so there's two big sloths in here that we can feed, and then there's one baby sloth. They they do bite, but um, it's best to feed them. Instead, if you're gonna pet him, I would pet him on the back. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'll bring you guys back in one second. <laughs> There's a Just little baby Just to make sure he doesn't bite you when you're not looking. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's like nipped me a little bit, but hasn't broke the skin. Um, the babies don't really I can't see they, they, they don't really. Um, the wild sloths, if you get bit by one of those, you can get a really bad infection. But our ones here don't aren't exposed to the same bacteria as those. Can you so, see him? You still need to clean it well if you get fit by one of ours. Hey, there's one. He's so cute. Absolutely. What's his name? Does he have a name yet? Forrest. Forrest the baby sloth. With two R's. Shout out Forrest Fanning. Okay, we'll switch. Oh, yeah. I want my picture. It's a sloth hanging out on a stuffed sloth. Babe, what do you think? Does it work the uh, four hours of driving? Yes. So cute. Aren't you short for this? What do you think of the girl? You saying hi to Cujo? Ah, hi to Cujo the sloth. Yeah, there's a Cujo. He's trying to bite me. It's okay, Cujo. Hold on, Bodhi. Bodhi, back over here, buddy. Guys, this is definitely top two coolest things ever. Like I've hung out with big ones, but right now, this little baby sloth is like chewing on my shirt. Look at that thing. Oh my God. He's so cute. I could definitely sit here all day. Oh, there you go, sorry. My mom is gonna be so jealous when she watches this video. How many people can say they've gotten to hang out and cuddle with a little baby sloth? All right, I'm gonna turn off the video and just uh, live in the moment for a minute. Alrighty guys, well that concludes our tour of Barnhill Preserve. Um, thank you to our tour guide, Abby. She was absolutely awesome. Uh, this was the first tour that she's done by herself. And I would say she did an absolutely great job. So Abby, if you watch this, uh, good work. For now, hanging out, just looking at some of the birdies, the camels, water buffalo, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, we have a long drive home. Thanks for watching so far. Comment down below, let me know what you thought. Give me a like, turn the bell on. A lot of you don't have the bell on, I don't know why. Or like my notifications aren't working, but turn that bell on. We're actually almost home. New Orleans proper, like the city is over to the left, but over to our right, there's a giant rainbow. I'm not sure how well y'all can see it. How do you zoom in? Super pretty. It goes over like the whole entire city. And like, I feel like most rainbows, God, dude, what are you doing? Everyone here doesn't know how to drive. I feel like most rainbows like are only there for a second. This one's been here for like 30 minutes, but it keeps moving. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, okay, almost all. I'll bring you guys back in a minute. Back home after a long day of uh, driving, hanging out with awesome animals. I had a great time. Kelsey, did you have a good time? Fabulous. So uh, we both had fabulous times. Like I said, we're definitely gonna go back and do the swimming with the um, 
Otters. What are those things? Otters. Yes, swimming with the otters. Definitely gonna go back and do that. My mom wants to do it too, and she's gonna be here in a couple weeks, hopefully. So maybe we will get to do that. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead, wrap up the video, get some rest, gotta go to work tomorrow. Please go ahead, throw this video a like for me. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you think of the little baby sloth. It was so cute! It was adorable. Uh, oh yeah, I'd get rid of Klaus in a heartbeat. I'm just kidding, buddy. He's standing right here. He's like, Dad, you do what? Uh, no, I wouldn't get rid of him. But uh, yeah, subscribe if you are not already subscribed. I will see you in the next video. Peace.